let's go let's start pulling let us start chat let's start where is 10 pull of the version actually wait i haven't even bought the shop yet all right now we continue now we continue where is 10 pull let's go chat i have like five pity i don't have no pity chat <laughs> what yo mihoyo 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 hear me out i know you guys like me i know you guys like me but you guys you guys are showing a little bit too much love bro hey that is zero pity that was zero pity first 10 pool i did five star hey they just love me Dabe. hey <laughs> oh my god is this everything happened so fast that i can't even believe it's real like is this real life i'm not trolling i literally can't believe if i'm like dreaming or is this reality and now i can go for weapon oh my god too good to be true i'm going for weapon Oh, by the way, why did they... Question, question, question. Honest question. Why did they not put a Zephyrus Moonlight on an Alhaitan weapon banner? Why did they put a Sack Sword? A few moments later. Here we go, though. Here we go. Is it going to be Absolution? Is it going to be the green one? I mean, either one is a dub. Honestly, either one is a dub because I'm going to be... Uh, I'm upgrading from a 4-star. So either one is a dub. But I kind of want Absolution, like... No, no, man. I never needed another gravestone. I already have two, bro. I have two gravestones already. They're both level 90. What am I going to do with a third? I don't even play a Claymore character. Last pull, last pull. Final pull. The luck. I mean, to be honest, look. To be honest. I was expecting to just get Clorin... Just like Clorinde alone. I got a Clorinde. Plus I got a Gravestone. Plus I'm pretty much on track on getting one of these weapons. So I'm happy. Uh, and I'm broke. I have one Primo Gem left. I have a singular Primo left. Alright let me 90 her. Nice. Let me give her. Right now I think I right now I'll just give her Jade Cutter. Even though Jade Cutter is like not optimal. My artifacts are so bad that... Yeah, my artifacts are so bad that it's not even gonna matter. Let me show you guys my artifacts. And by the way, this goblet might just be one of the best pieces I have. That's the goblet. Sans, actually, this Sans is the best piece. Everything else is bad. That's the Sans. Okay. This is the circlet. <laughs> this is my feather that I... I spent over a month in that domain for this. Okay, so this is what our stats look like. 84 crit rate, 185 crit damage. I, I pre-farmed a lot for her. Let's go. Max out Clorin. Max out C0 Clorin. <clears throat> Alright, let's go. Let's go check her damage out. Now, is he go now he's gonna back off. Yep. Yo, damn. What? Was that 140k? No, I can't see my numbers. We just destroyed him, but like, I couldn't even see my numbers. My artifacts are mediocre. My weapon isn't really optimal. But still, she's crazy. I could test raw damage. I could test raw damage. Hold on. 4k raw damage. Oh, raw damage goes crazy. <laughs> raw damage goes crazy. 5k raw damage. Yeah. Uh, we're not really playing raw damage, Clorin. Let me try burst. God damn. Look at bro, look at how fast she attacks. I think she definitely has one of the best animations in the game. I'll hate him better. But he might be better, but like we don't care, bro. People who want Clorin will pull Clorin. They don't care about I'll hate him. And they don't care who is better. Like if you are look, if you're really gonna pull for the best DPS, just pull Nuvolet. It's not about who's better, it's about if you enjoy the character. I'm gonna be honest. If you don't enjoy the character, there's no point in pulling it. Oh, for anyone wondering, by the way, my Nahida is C0. So don't don't be like, oh, C2 Nahida carrying. No, no, no. My Nahida is C0. Yo, let's go check out. Let's go check around against Rocky. I'm probably gonna get smacked. Um, I'm not gonna lie. Hey, what's up, Rocky? We're actually going to confuse Rocky. <laughs> he doesn't know where to attack. <laughs> hey, 
He doesn't know where to hit me. Oh, poor guy. Damn, I can burst every rotation. Hey, Rashi, bro, you got a taste of your own medicine. Nah, chat, she is super fun, bro. I can't lie. She is so fun to play. But yeah, I feel like, bro, I feel like this right here is like my favorite Clarin team right now. Mainly because my Farina C2. And also because like you don't really need Kazuo's crowd control this abyss. This abyss first half, you don't need crowd control. Clarin's mobility is good enough. Like Clarin's mobility will make up for not having crowd control. And this is what I'm talking about though. Clean. That's clean. Please just be it. Like I don't wanna be bro, I don't wanna be fighting Capellius forever. Just let me be nice, don't don't hit me too much, and we're good. <laughs> yup, that's what I'm talking about. That's pretty much a one cycle. Tad, I'm gonna show you guys how you can work around not having crowd control. Just like you just gotta have, you just gotta have good positioning. Also, first of all, you don't kill the first wave with her skill. You actually use her burst to kill the first wave. Second wave, you use Naida's skill. You go all out on second wave. Third wave, you just kind of wait until current skill ends. Kind of just stagger them a little bit. Also, third wave, you do the same thing. You kill them with her burst, and then you... You kill the next wave with her skill. And this is how you just avoid having crowd control. Like, work around not having crowd control. Pretty fast. No Kazuo. Time for my first impressions. So, here's what I think. Clorinda is good. She's fun to play. Her damage is reasonably good. Like, depends on your team. But like, I feel like, I mean, I feel like most of her teams have good damage. Like, they're good enough to clear Abyss. Only concern would be the interruption resistance at T0. That's my only concern. The thing is, I don't pull characters based on meta. I just pull the characters I like. They just turn out to be meta. I got Farina, I got Nahida, I got Shan Nguyen, got Kazuha, got Nivolet, got our Lahino C1, R1, C1, R1, like C2, Farina. I just don't pull uh, based on meta. But the characters I pull, just like they're meta by default. People who try to make Genshin look like a tryhard game are just stupid. Like, it's not a tryhard game. Most people clear Abyss just once. They don't sit there and like play Abyss every day. And like anyone, like anyone is good for that. We're good about meta. We're good about all this. Just pull who you like and like build a good team around them. That's how it is. My closing thoughts are pretty much going to be don't listen to the haters. If you like her, pull her. She's a good DPS. She will work even on F2P accounts. Like you don't have to have five star teams. You can literally use a Sucrose Traveler team. It doesn't matter. You can use like a craftable weapon. Because like damage output isn't something everybody chases. Like not everybody, not everybody wants like 150k DPS. So everybody, everybody got different interests. If you like Chlorine, go for her. Thank you all for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.